live on a quiet lane of patio homes, in a luxurious senior apartment, or in an assisted living suite with compassionate health care professionals just seconds away. At Chesterwood Village, you have the convenience of more specialized care if required, state-of-the-art rehab and therapy, as well as long-term respite or memory care. Chesterwood Village offers a home-like environment like no other with daily activities to keep the mind and body moving. Learn more at hillandale.com or call Jane at Chesterwood today at 513-777-1400. That's 513-777-1400 for Chesterwood Village. You know, it's easy to turn your unwanted, broken, or unused gold and silver jewelry and coins into needed cash. Gold and silver class rings, wedding bands, and coin collections can all be turned into needed cash fast at Franklin Street Coin Company in Evendale. They are paying more because they buy more. Get the highest prices available fast at Franklin Street Coin Company, a proud sponsor of Ohio State Sports. Go Buckeyes! WDJO Cincinnati. WDJO Cincinnati. The following is a paid program. Its views and opinions are not necessarily those of this station or its management. Good morning, and welcome to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour, starring Gary Rosignol of Remax Preferred Group. To be part of the program, dial 513-563-1480 to get your answers to questions about your home and property. That number again, 513-563-1480. Now, here's Gary. Good day, you all. (laughs) Go Bengals. (laughs) Yeah, you got it. Although you know today is National Hot Sauce Day. Well, and you, <laughs> you being the guy that would know that because of all the hot sauce I've gotten from you over the yeah. years, the spice rub yeah. and everything. That you somewhere, make. somewhere in the world, it's it's uh, National Hot Sauce Day. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> Jungle Gems is probably going to have a good day then. Yeah, you, know? you got it. However, in Who Day Country, we're going to call it another Cincinnati Bengal Day. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So let's have some fun. Oh, I'm ready. All right, you got it. I'm Gary Rosignol, certified residential specialist. With Remax Preferred Group, your host every Saturday morning right here at from 9 to 10 o'clock on WDJO. My guest this morning is no stranger to the show. It's been I a know, long time since your last appearance. It's been some months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have him today, so let's make the best of it. This is my friend, colleague, and one of my favorite mortgage lenders in the whole wide world, <laughs> Mr. Bob Pape. Oh, I'm blushing. Yay. <laughs> oh, Oh, the crowd's cheering us on. I this love morning. it. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Thank you, Dan. All right. So before we get started, let's um, let's give away some passes to the Greater Cincinnati Remodeling Expo. It's That's in the a, Sharonville Convention Center. It is. Right? Yeah. Great. It's a great yeah. show. It's a great show. And these uh, tickets, we got um, three pair of tickets to give away. Uh, if you answer the correct question, they're given to us. Uh, by uh, Ken Bryan of uh, KBC Remodeling, and uh, they're at feature booth number one. They've been in business 35 years. Did not know that. <clears throat> they can do everything in your house, uh, every kind of remodeling you think of. 513-385-9165 is their phone number. But if you want to answer this question, call 513 Answer this question, and you're going to get yourself a pair of tickets, free tickets worth $10 to the uh, Greater Cincinnati Remodeling Expo. And the question is, it's a who am I trivia question. I had a number one single in 1975 called If. I played a bald-headed New York City detective in a television series, and he loved lollipops, and his trademark line was, who loves you, baby? (laughs) Can you say it better uh, than I do? I, I can say, uh, who loves you, baby? There you go. <laughs> right. 513-563-1480. Give us a call and let us know who that is. And you're going to get yourself a ten, uh, two, you get yourself a pair of tickets worth $10 to the Cincinnati Remodeling Expo. And the phones are ringing off the hook. There, there we you go. go. They're already going. I don't think, I didn't think this one was going to take long. I'm no. looking at all the flashing lines. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> All right. First things first, Bob, you want to shout out to the family, of course, right? I, you know, I do. Uh, I want to say really happy birthday. My daughter turned six this week. 
Hera so has? She has. She, wow. she turned six. Uh, birthday party, you know. We have the, the little thing. We're doing a little stuff with the family today. Mm-hmm. But her birthday present was a hoverboard. Oh. And let me tell you, something that kids enjoy that no adult should ever try <laughs> is, is a hoverboard. A hoverboard. Yeah, My God, I, yeah. That takes some balance. It, yeah, and agility. And stuff that I think you have more when you're a six-year-old than you do when you're a 50-year-old. Oh, wow. I really think yeah. that. Jeez. Um, but, no, she had a good time. And, you know, she's enjoying kindergarten. You know how that goes. You've got the grandkids. And mm-hmm. You've got the kids that already been through college. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I'm kind of looking forward to that in a way. Yeah, you're, but you're, I don't want to blink my eyes and see her be an adult. You're, really look, don't. you're looking forward to grade school and then high school and then college. And right, <laughs> right. Yep. You've got a long, way, a long road ahead of you. You know, everybody's always told me, though, enjoy it. Because you're going to blink your eye and you're going to look back mm-hmm. and you're going to wish they were six years mm-hmm. old again. Yeah. You know, sometimes. Yeah. You know. Well, we have our um, our monthly. Well, actually, we do it every couple of months. We get together and we celebrate everybody's birthday. Right. And also today, we're going to have the gender, um, what do you call gender it? Gender reveal party. Gender reveal party for my second daughter, Jennifer. Whoa. Yeah. News. Yeah. It's due in, I think, June. And only her father-in-law has the sealed envelope. Oh, so they don't even know. No, they don't know. Oh, wow. That'll be cool. So it's going to be a big surprise. Talk right into the microphone. Yeah, I got you. So Mary Jo, is that another one for Mary Jo to watch during the day then? Or no? No, no. um, Their their other mother-in-law watches her, her daughter. Yeah. And Mary Jo watches Stephanie's two daughters. Gotcha. So gotcha. we kind of spread it out, but uh, yeah, they got plans to uh, watch the new one too. So that's but, yeah. awesome. Well, congratulations. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna do it right at the the Bengal game, right right before <laughs> the Bengal game. So and, and when's her when's her due date? Sometime in June. I don't know exactly the, the date. Uh, yeah. Jen, if you're listening, maybe shoot me a text with message with the the due date. <laughs> but. Um, that's so, awesome. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be fun. You know, we've got yeah. to have the whole family come over, and it'll be maybe I'll fire up the drone and fly it and get a picture of the whole group in the front yard. It's yeah. not too cold. <laughs> yeah, the, the good thing about technology is you can do things like that, mm-hmm. you know, and as your family gets bigger, I'm sure these are the memories you want to keep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got myself a drone for Christmas, a really nice drone. And so for, we had the Christmas group out in the front yard between the right. two big trees, and I flew it in, and they all waved, and it flew out. So when you list the house, are you going to do your own drone no. footage now? No, no you're going to no. let this still oh, let yeah. your. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. just I didn't know how far you're going to take you, that. You have to have a license to do that, a pilot's license to fly a drone commercially. And yeah, and if you're taking pictures of the house to list mm-hmm. for sale, that's yeah. considered commercial. Yep. yep. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. It's well. a lot, a lot of, a lot of learning. And yeah. You got to have a good drone to do that. Right. I, I have a good one. I could do it, but I don't want to. <laughs> why you know, right exactly else is an expert yeah. at it and yeah. trust them i get that so bob you are with polaris home funding corp you uh, are a lender correct yes i am a realtor yeah you are what is the first question people usually ask <laughs> well the one i get is well, what's my interest rate gonna be <laughs> right. that's the, i think that's the single most common question yeah yeah so we've got uh i've got down a couple of articles that addressed that this week. This one was from Realtor.com. Right. And uh, it says, rising rates pressure buyers. That is so, true. So. And, and, and that's definitely going on in our market. You know, I see it every day. You know, if, if you're a lender and you sit behind there and you're waiting for rates to come out on a daily basis, mm-hmm. the first thing you look at is like the 10-year treasury bonds. Mm-hmm. And we've been watching that, you know, spike. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's been a... That is a concern, and that will. There certainly is some changes to the market coming this year for sure. Yeah, it says nearly half, forty-seven percent of home buyers recently surveyed, said they would feel more pressure to buy a home past three point five percent. So yeah. I've always said, when the interest rates start going up, those fence sitters jump off, right, and take action, right, because the you know the bottom out they wait and they wait and they wait although they haven't been haven't been any reason to wait recently in the past year or, or 15 months because they've been uh, 
used we used to go on tour and show three and four and six houses on a trip, but now right. you show one every other week. And I listed a house Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday we had twenty four showings. Wow, on a Wednesday too. That's yeah, not even the typical right, Thursday right, listing right. where they roll out. Yeah, yeah, twenty four the very first wow. day, and, and it's sold Thursday. Yeah. I mean, it's a great time to be a seller. If you're for a seller, more, you're for thinking more about than it. asking price. Yeah, about fifteen thousand over asking price. Yeah, if you, you know, a moderately priced house or a house that you price to sell, mm-hmm. well, oftentimes, I mean, you see it as much as I do. It, it goes for more. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, <clears throat> another article I have from Realtor Magazine was, "How quickly will mortgage rates rise in 2022?" Do you have any idea on that? Well, there's been a couple of, you know, we listen to these prognosticators, like the so-called mm-hmm. experts, and, you know, we've, we've got them out there. Now, the Fed was expected to raise rates, like force rates up at least three times this year. Well, a couple of weeks ago, uh, the guy that runs Chase Bank, his name is Jamie Dimon, mm-hmm. he came out and he basically said, like, look, I, I think they're going to have to do it at least four times. Mm. They're going to have to push rates up because... You know, when rates rise, that counteracts inflation. Mm -hmm. And I I think we can all attest if we've been to the grocery store lately, that inflation is definitely incurring, you know. (laughs) So, you know, for me, you know, I would prefer that rates always be low. You know, Mm -hmm. it it makes my life easier. Everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. But it's a stressful environment right now for us because every day it seems like rates are just inkling up just a little bit, Mm -hmm. you know. But it's a constant inkle up, and it's not so much going up and down, up and down. Right. And that 3.5% marker that you mentioned, people would get off the fence. That's about where rates are at right now, you know? So, Yeah, it says that uh, mortgage rates are largely forecast to continue to rise over the coming months. Last week, the 30-year fixed rate rose to its highest average since May of 2020. Right. Averaging 3.22%. Now, that is still really, really low. And that's kind of a deceitful number, though, the 3.22, because when they average that rate, they're averaging over a month. The last two weeks of December, well, last week of December and the first couple weeks of this year, it's spiked. See That number next month will be even higher. Okay. Yeah. And that's what they're predicting. I yeah. Mean, yeah, they're, yeah. They're saying that, um, well, let's see. Um, the senior economist and director of forecasting at the National Association of Realtors told Yahoo that they believe mortgage rates are poised to rise slowly in 2022. Right. And they could, uh, they expect the 30 year fixed rate mortgage to average 3.3% in the first quarter and rise to 3.5 for the year. So that's pretty slow. <laughs> it is. Um, but at the same time, I know the National Association of Realtors had said that, but I, I'm I'm telling you, I'm hearing other thing other things from other sources. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I hope. I mean, NAR is normally right on top of usually the pulse. Yeah, you know, and I hope that that's the that's the right answer. What what he said. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so and it, there was a day. I mean, back. 20 years ago when working with the buyer and well i got licensed in 1986 and in in the 80s interest rates were eight nine and ten percent and i was telling buyers if you can get single digits you're really doing well you're right yeah they were happy with seven and eight and even nine percent but today's buyer to talk about seven or eight or nine percent interest they go what you're a crook Yeah. yeah no no i got in the industry at the end of 1996, beginning of 1997, and at that point, rates had just gotten below 8%. It was like 7 point, mm-hmm. you know, 7.875. And people on a fixed rate, too, uh-huh. because a lot of people back in the 80s did adjustable rate mortgage, different things in order to keep their rates lower. That's not so common these days. But when rates got into the 7s, and I entered the industry, like literally right after college, it was people were lined up, like just to refinance their house because yeah. they could have a seven in front of their interest rate. Yeah, the first house we bought, we uh, we assumed a, a VA mortgage, right? 
at 10%. Yeah. Because interest rates were like 12% then. And so we just assumed this move for 10%. We thought we were getting a great deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, for probably for as far as what a house cost when you got that interest rate, probably a great deal. Maybe not the interest rate itself, but at the time, you know, it's, it's all relative for the times. And but, I. But here's ahead. what's happening with the, the interest rates uh, increasing. Uh, the Federal Reserve said Wednesday that it plans to have multiple rate increases in 2022 right. and will taper its monthly asset purchase at a, <clears throat> at, a, at a quicker, much more aggressive pace than analysts originally anticipated. Right. Um, and they said the, the days of rock bottom rates are nearly over. Right. <clears throat> well, so you understand what they're saying in there in, the, in your audience the Fed, the Federal Reserve, they do what's called it's called quantitative easing, okay. which means that they buy their own bonds in order to manipulate rates lower. Mm. They've been doing that for years now. I mean, again, it started, you know, quantitative e- quantitative easing started under George Bush, and then when Obama came in, he continued that policy. His administration, then it kind of went away, and then COVID hit. Mm-hmm. In order f- to keep the market from collapsing, because I don't think if people remember when COVID started in 2020, stock market was tanking, everything yeah, was done. Yeah. The Federal Reserve stepped in with the lessons they'd learned from the financial crisis back in the late, you know, mid 2000s to 2009, 2010, and they immediately started doing that. Drove rates low was a very good benefit for us as a lender for sure. But they're going to stop that program, mm. and that's what that means. And it's it's going to <clears throat> possibly you know curb the inflation a little bit too. Right. Well, you know when you when when interest rates go up, people tend not to buy as much, which allows supply to get into dem- supply and demand to kind of come back in balance. Mm-hmm. And right now, there's a lot of demand. And there's just not a lot of supply and a lot of different products. <clears throat> so. Um, you're with uh, Polaris Home Funding Corp. Which, For a lot of years now, man. <laughs> which, and, and I tell buyers, you know, they say, well, what about this big bank store, the big store bank and this big store bank? And they're, they're good big banks. They do a lot for the community. They do everything. Right. And mortgages are just one little portion of that, whereas you do nothing but mortgages. Right. And yeah. That, and, and again, I'm not here to ever badmouth somebody else. You know, you don't right. do that. But. <clears throat> I think one thing that we're great at is we know lot loans, mortgage loans, all the types of government loans involved in mortgage lending, down payment grants, all that stuff. Hold that thought. The Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour is brought to you today by Bob Pape of Polaris Home Funding Corp. His number is 859-468-1929. I'd like to express my gratitude to all our troops and veterans our first responders, and our heroes in service and health care. Yes, sir. That's our nurses and doctors and nurses, aides, and health care staff, the EMT, the police and firefighters. So often they deal with life and death situations, and especially during this pandemic. Thank them and keep them in your thoughts and prayers. After our break, we're going to have a moment with Miles, and then Bob and I will tell you what first-time buyers want and some more 2022 predictions. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on 1480 WDJO, now on 995 and 1079 FM. Don't bother knocking in the house. Polaris Home Funding Corp. is your premier mortgage lender in greater Cincinnati. They offer a complete line of financing options, including FHA, USDA, VA, conventional and reverse mortgage loans, plus 203K and conventional renovation loans. Polaris Home Funding Corp. makes the loan process simple, straightforward, and fast for borrowers seeking a mortgage in the greater Cincinnati area. They can even work with low credit scores. Call Bob Pape today at 859-468-1929 to discuss your financing options at Polaris Home Funding Corp. Agent NMLS number 61416. Company NMLS 38072. Postmodern Jukebox, a rotating musical collective bringing popular music back in time. I'll be there for you. March 2nd, Taft Theater. Postmodern Jukebox. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com and the Taft Theater Box Office. 
Don't miss Postmodern Jukebox Live. Are you looking for a taste of New Orleans? Then come to Brew River Creole Kitchen. Under the tutelage of Emeril Lagazzi, our executive chef Michael Shields has learned the secrets of new New Orleans cooking and prepares this area's authentic, locally sourced, made from scratch Creole cuisine. Are you planning an event? Brew River can accommodate private parties from 15 to 8, including restaurant rental for 200 guests, making Brew River ideal for small to large special events. Something new at Brew River is a wine retail center. Stop by, pick up a bottle of small production boutique wine by the bottle. Many of these selections are very limited and not widely available. Brew River has also brought back Wine Wednesday with half price on small production wine by the bottle. For great live entertainment and a taste of New Orleans every Tuesday through Saturday, along with Saturday lunch and Sunday brunch. Make it Brew River Creole Kitchen at Eastern Avenue and online at BrewRiverCreoleKitchen.com. Truck is a trusted and valued asset. You have a lot invested in its care and maintenance, which is why when you have mechanical problems, you want to take it to a place you can trust, a place that has been a symbol of quality and honesty. Hi, I'm Robert Nolan of John Nolan Auto Service. For over 60 years, the John Nolan family has been servicing our customers' vehicle repair needs right here in Greater Cincinnati. But now, John Nolan Auto Service has made a good deal even better by offering a nationwide, three-year, 36,000-mile warranty on all our cover repair. John Nolan Auto Service is conveniently located in the heart of Newport, Kentucky, right across from the Peace Bell. Call John Nolan Auto Service at 859-261-8833 for an appointment today. A three-year, 36,000-mile nationwide warranty. What could be better? Hey, thanks for listening and watching on Facebook, and now we're supposed to be on Twitter as well. My name is Gary Rosignol, Certified Residential Specialist, better known as Realtor with REMAX Preferred Group. And now this is the moment I have been waiting for all week. <laughs> this is the captain of our ship, Mr. Miles Beersford, the owner along with his wife christine brokers of remax preferred group and this is his little thoughts for the day good morning miles hello miles oh Uh uh-oh technical difficulties Uh, pop their ugly head live radio (laughs) One of our big competing stations have been struggling with technical difficulties for about a month now. Oh, wow. They moved into new studios, and you'll get dead air for about 30 seconds every once in a while. Good thing we have big mouths and we can yeah. talk well. Yeah. Is he there? No? Okay. Right. Well, Miles, call back. We'll bring you on whenever you do. So, um, anyhow, next week, my guest, speaking of um, – home prices and there's a lot of questions about appraisals buyers are paying over asking price and they're not always appraising for what they agree to pay for them so there's a little bit of a gap insurance but i've got phil crawford he's the voice of appraisal he's going to be in here next week so that'd be cool yep and later with bill kerrigan of the dragonfly foundation and uh there he is all right here we go now we're back yeah this is the moment we've been waiting for. This is Mr. Miles Beersford. Good morning, Miles. Good morning, Gary. There you are. Gary, Chris and I have been spending some time of the weekends in the wilderness of the Ohio Highlands. So with no TV and being off the grid, per se, I have been spending some of my time reading the Farmer's Almanac. Page one of the 2022 edition has this quote from the 14th Dalai Lama. There are only two days in the year when nothing can be done. One is called yesterday, and the other is called tomorrow. (laughs) Today is the right day to love, believe, do, and mostly live. And I add to that quote, 
Tomorrow never comes. It's always today. And that's this morning's moment with Miles. That is some good stuff. And we were just talking about living in the day, right, Bob? Deep. Yeah. Yes, yeah, very, very good. Thank you. We needed to hear that. Tomorrow's the present. Yep, I call it that for a reason, right? And, and, it, and it's a gift to us. So that's Mr. Miles Beersford, captain of our ship, a REMAX refer group, along with his lovely wife, Christine. And they own the largest REMAX brokerage in the entire state of Ohio. Speaking of that, Gary, uh, you know, with that being REMAX Preferred Group, you recently got a pretty big award there. Oh, well, you yeah. made the congratulations. I wanted to say that to you on the air. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we have like 155 agents. I came in the top 50. There you go. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. yeah Elite cool. group. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, but, no problem. Uh, but I'm grateful for all my listeners and clients and family, and especially Carol from South Lebanon, Joanne and Mark and Westchester and Felicia. Leah Crane and Steve Zinzer and Lon Lamaster. I know Lon called in and won the trivia question today. And Mike and Nancy Little, they're in Florida right now. I know he's listening. And Jane Real and my family and all the realtor friends who tune in each week. And uh, this week's show is brought to you by Mr. Bob Paper Polaris Home Funding Corp. Yay. And his number is 859 468 1929. And if it wasn't for Bob and all my collaborators who help me do what I do. I can't do this without you. I can't do it without Mary Jo, and I can't do it with, without my inspectors, my photographers, and my everybody that, that touches every one of my clients and every step of the way. It's a team sport. Yes, it is. This realty business, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. And when I sit down with folks who are thinking about selling their house on their own, they, they might be able to do it, but... They don't know how much money they're leaving on the table. And everybody's got a problem. And we don't sell houses, Bob. We we solve problems. And you, the same way. Yep. You, yep. you don't sell loans. You solve their problem. Their problem is they want to buy this. And how are they going to buy that? Yep. Unless yeah. they have cash. <laughs> how do you get from point A to point Z? Yeah. You know, and you do it as a team. I mean, it takes your clients participating with you. You know, and, and there's dozens of steps along the way. Right. And yeah. every step of the way could create another little problem that you never know. I've, you, you rarely have a real slam dunk. But yep. you sent me this article this week and it uh, from Yahoo News. Yeah. Uh, U.S. existing home sales end banner year with a slump. Wow. Yeah, and, and that slump is a relative term because it was only a slump because there was not enough inventory exactly. out there. If, I, I've got to think if you're thinking about selling your house, this would be just such a phenomenal time to do it. You're going to get top dollar. It is, yeah. No matter the, what. Almost guaranteed if the house shows decent or great. Yeah. And, um, you know, if it's updated pretty well and if you price it right, if you overprice it just a little bit, you know, it's 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 going to the buyers know they they can get into the internet and see what's going on in the neighborhood. Right, for sure. Yeah, my friend Karen sends out uh, Cincinnati real estate perspective, and um, in January 11 to the 17th for the week, it was 492 new listings only. I <laughs> know. Right, what would be an average? <clears throat> I'm sorry. What would be an average number that you would thousand, typically see? A couple you know, thousand. Oh yeah. So there'd, now there'd be several hundred a day. Right. And so you're talking 400 and something for the week. For a week. Yeah. yeah. We had uh, 400 of the 492 new listings. 490 pending went <laughs> pending in that week. Wow. And uh, 354 closings now. The showings were up from the week prior. The showings were at eleven thousand five hundred, whereas the week prior they were only at ninety nine hundred. You know, when you think about that, though, five hundred houses coming on the market, or four hundred, whatever you said, and then showings eleven thousand. <coughs> uh huh. So when you do that math, what is that about twenty showings per house? Right. You know, somewhere yeah. that that to me is just yeah. astounding. An they start. They, they start on my new listing at uh, eight fifteen in the morning right. until eight thirty that evening. They were back to back to back to back all day long. Yeah. And so when I get a new listing, I just sit and monitor the showings because through our Showing Time app, we can 
we know who enters the house when with the electronic lockbox system, and it it tells us. You know, it's funny though is if if you're a potential buyer, and you walk into a house, you look at it, you fall in love with it, then you see somebody walking into what you may think of as your house now yeah, at right. this point. That's uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. But this article that you emotions. this article that you um, told me about says that the uh, supply challenges are far from over with the inventory of homes for sale hitting an all-time low in December of 910,000 units. That's nationally. Yeah, that's Hawaii, Alaska. And, you know, and you got to think, you know, Kentucky and Ohio. Ohio has a lot more populace than Kentucky, but but still, like, you know, a state like California, you would think would have hundreds of thousands. Well, I've got of Kentucky listening. stats here as well. Yeah. Uh, in Kentucky, in D1... Uh, the av- the median sale price was two hundred and fifty thousand, yep. which was nineteen percent over December of twenty twenty. The average price was two hundred nine five. Yeah, every year that's going up that number. And in uh, the year to date in twenty twenty, the av- median price was two oh two, and year to date the median price uh, in twenty twenty one was two thirty two. In Kentucky. Yeah, so 15%. That, yeah, you know exactly. Right. That's just crazy. Yeah. That's so, crazy. you know, why well, the housing market won't burn quite as hot? It's so, supply and demand. Well, that's right. And so, so they understand what we're saying here is if you buy a house, it's an investment for you. Mm-hmm. It's going to go up in value. Or if you continue to rent, you know, and, 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 the, and average rents, what people are paying for rents right now is insane i mean in my eyes you know, uh, it's going up met, so much met a buyer wednesday night uh they want to buy a home i said well good luck with that yeah. <laughs> but in fact they will be calling you um mm-hmm. to get uh to get pre-approved and uh they're renting a one bedroom with a study and one bathroom and that's 895 dollars a month see i mean when you think about that that's Eight hundred ninety-five dollars. That's a hundred and thirty-five, hundred and forty-five dollar house. Yeah, you know, and so <laughs> one bedroom, one bath with a study. Right. And I just want to remind everybody to tune in on Sunday nights at eight p.m. for Johnny Sunday Soda Shop right here on WDJO. He's a hoot. It's a great, <laughs> it's a great show. So please don't touch the dial. Stay with us. Coming up next, I'm going to present you my music history, and then. What are the best questions to ask when shopping for a loan? Good question. Oh, I got a lot of them. <laughs> I you know. Ask me. <laughs> You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on WDJO on 1480 AM, now FM 995 and 107.9. Are you thinking about selling your home or in the market to downsize but don't know where to start? Hi, this is Gary Rosignol, host of the Rock DJO. If you've been asking these questions, call me today for a no obligation consultation at 513-777-2402. Let me help you transition from where you are to where you want to be. I'm licensed in Ohio and Kentucky. That's 513-777-2402. And don't forget to catch me Saturday mornings from 9 to 10 right here on WDJO. I'm having a hot flash, a tropical Menopause the Musical, the off-Broadway parody hit that will have you cheering at your seat and dancing in the aisles. It's impossible not to laugh. The New York Times. It's hilarious. Go see it. The View. Women need this. The Today Show. Menopause the Musical, February 15th through the 27th at the Aronoff Center. Tickets on sale now at CincinnatiArts.org, 513-621-ARTS, and the Aronoff Center Ticket Office. You don't want to miss this. I'm having a hot flash. Vonderhaar's Catering Incorporated has been serving the Cincinnati and Tri-State area for 53 years. Over those years, Vonderhaar's style of catering and scope of services has changed and evolved, but their commitment to serving a quality product with exceptional service has not wavered. Vonderhaar's provides any setup and level of service from casual or elegant buffets or food stations to plated dinner service. 
along with striving to provide excellent quality food and service, Vonderhaars takes pride in the personal attention they give each customer, allowing you to be the guest at your own event. For your next catered event, contact Vonderhaars Catering at 513-554-1969 or visit Vonderhaars.com. You may be into punk rock, soft rock, or classic rock, R&B, hip hop, or house, country, techno, or techno country. But no matter what kind of music you listen to, here's something else you should hear. Please consider getting vaccinated. Talk to your pharmacist today about Comirnaty COVID-19 vaccine mRNA. This message, Pfizer. Take a step back away from the hurry life you live today and relax. Take a stroll through the Covered Bridge Antique Mall. For the past 29 years, Covered Bridge Antique Mall has been the go-to shop for treasure and bargain hunters from the tri-state and beyond. Beautiful antiques, jewelry collectibles, and one-of-a-kind items. Covered Bridge Antique Mall, a truly unique shopping experience. 7508 Hamilton Avenue in the heart of historic Mount Healthy. 513-521-6739 or visit their Facebook page. Covered Bridge Antique Mall is open Tuesday through Sunday, 10 till 5, closed Monday, following all state recommended safety guidelines. Please don't tell. No, no. Time for one of my favorite parts of the show. It's time for music history. On this day in 1959, Alone with an acoustic guitar and tape recorder in his new apartment, Buddy Holly made his last recordings, including Peggy Sue Got Married, Crying, Waiting, Hoping, That's What They Say, What to Do, Learning the Game, and That Makes It Tough. The recordings would be overdubbed posthumously and were later released by Coral Records. This is what I heard, of course. The story could be wrong. Today in 1966, the Beach Boys went into Gold Star Studios to record Wouldn't It Be Nice, which would be the opening track on their forthcoming album Pet Sounds. The musicians present on the day, oh man, what a group, the Wrecking Crew, including Hal Blaine on drums and the fabulous Carol Kay on electric bass. And on this day in 1969, the Beatles moved from Twickenham Film Studios to Apple Studios in London to start recording the Get Back LP. Billy Preston was brought into the session. John, Paul, and George knew Preston from 1962 when he was a member of Little Richard's backing group. The Beatles were determined to record the album live, Flaws and All. Today in 1970, Steel Mill, featuring Bruce Springsteen, opened for Elvin Bishop Band at the Matrix in San Francisco, California. Steel Mill were paid five bucks for the gig, and Elvin Bishop Band received $90 as the headliner. (laughs) Today in 1994, American actor and singer Telly Savalas died of prostate cancer at the age of 72. He scored the 1975 number one single, If, played Lieutenant Theo Kojak, a bald New York City detective in the television series Kojak, with a fondness for lollipops, and whose trademark line was, I love you, baby. Who loves you, baby? Who loves you, baby? There you go, right. On this day in 2012, Adele broke an American chart record that was stood for years after being set by the Beatles and Pink Floyd. The singer's second album, 21, clocked up 16 weeks at number one on the U.S. chart, matching the success of the Titanic original soundtrack. 21 released last January and now beaten the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's and Pink Floyd's The Wall, which had previously held the accolade with runs of 15 weeks at number one. Born on this day back in 1942, Australian artist, cartoonist, songwriter, and filmmaker Martin Sharp, Australia's foremost pop artist, pop artist, his psychedelic posters of Bob Dylan, Donovan, and others rank as classics of the genre. 
Martin co-wrote one of Cream's best-known songs, Tales of Brave Ulysses, created the cover art for Cream's Disarelli Gears and Wheels of Fire albums, and in the 1970s became a champion of singer Tiny Tim. <laughs> uh, Sharp died from uh, emphysema on December the 1st in 2013 at the age of 71. So there you go. I had a blast researching these history notes for you. I hope you had as much fun with them. I'm um, called the Rock and Roll Realtor because I play with the greatest classic rock band, Bluestone Ivory. Go to bluestoneivory.com. We'll start filling in our schedule. We're off for a couple of months while a couple guys want to shout out to Rick, who's a uh, recovering from open heart surgery about a month or six weeks ago and Chappie, our drummer who just had some knee surgery. So we're, we're fixing up to kill it this summer. You're putting the band-aids on to get back on the road. There you go. You got it. The rock and roll real estate hour is brought to you today by Bob Pape of Polaris home funding corp. His number is eight, five, nine, four, six, eight, one, nine, two, nine. So if you're home, what's the very, very first thing you should do besides talk to a realtor? Oh, you need to get your pre-approval. I mean, (laughs) I think every realtor is going to demand that these days. Not the the realtor, but the seller. They're not. Well, they don't want just anybody going into. You know, if they're going to make an offer, they want to make sure it's a one and done right type type of thing, or the people can buy the house. We had we had several offers on my new listing, and the one that got the deal was the one that had the pre-approval letter. And I talked to the lender and he says, yeah, he says, we've done, we've done the automated underwriting. I've collect, I've done their, their, uh, their credit research. He says, I got their credit scores. I got their tax returns. He's, you know, he said they're, they're good to go. Right. Yep. That's the one that got the deal. The other ones had pre-qualified letters or conditional qualification letters Right. Based on collecting these items, they weren't ready to buy. No, they, there's a difference between a pre-qualification and a pre-approval. Tell pre, us. A pre-approval means that the lender has actual, actually seen the income documents of the client mm-hmm. and that it's been to an underwriter who's actually said, yes, based on what I see, based on this, this is the income we're going to use, you're good to go. Yeah, and that's pre- what you do. Yeah, we do. We do pre-approvals. We do now. There are times when somebody will call me and they've got an offer they're making on a house right then, right there, where we have to disseminate if they know, like, hey, are you a self-employed borrower? Mm -hmm. Are you W-2'd? If you have your W-2s in front of you and you tell me my W-2 says this on line five, then I can kind of, you know, or you're hourly, you make this Mm -hmm. much per hour, you've been there this long. You can kind of make those spur of the moment decisions, but you have to let the real estate agent know that, yeah, this is pending, you know, an underwriter approval. And and it is not as strong. A pre-approval is stronger. So if you're buying a house, be a little proactive and talk with lenders before you start looking. Yes. Uh, A a trainer of mine, um, uh, Dave Knox, and, and he has a video. And at the very beginning of his video, he says, if your realtor were to show you a house that you that fits all your wants and needs today, would you buy it? And if not, then don't look now. Right. Yeah, that's not uh, – this is not the day and age to be – There was a day when they say, oh, we just want to go and check them out a little bit. You know, right. we, we want to see what the market's like. and But we don't have time for that today. You know, if you – First of all, you're going to be one of many, many looking at the house, and right. and they're going to write offers now, and they're going to only leave it open for several hours. To to leave it open for 24 hours is a stretch. Right, or, you know, they put the house on the market on a Thursday. We're going to review all the offers on Sunday. We need your highest mm-hmm. and best, mm-hmm. and then that's it. You get It's one and done. And And I also feel because our industry has changed so much, there was a day you as a realtor – maybe show somebody five, six houses in a day. Mm-hmm. The people would go home that night and think about which one suited right. them best or the, for the other two, then make a second appointment to go out and see them again. Do a second look, right. Right, and then make a decision. Mm-hmm. You can't do it that no, way. No, not today. It's That's not yeah. the way it works. 
So what kind of loans are available out there? We've got, uh, of course, everybody wants a fixed rate mortgage. You know, with rates being where they're at, I would really, and unless you know you're going to be moving in for sure three, four, five years down mm-hmm. the road, you need to get a fixed rate mortgage. Let's just throw that out there. Right. You, you, you know, there's no sense in gambling what your rate is going to be three, four, five, six, seven years down the road. Used to be a uh, fixed rate, uh, your average uh, conventional fixed rate mortgage would be, you know, four and four and a quarter, whereas a uh, three-year adjustable might be three and a half. Right. And if you're only going to be there, and I ask, you know, how long do you plan on living in the house? And say, well, we're probably going to be moving to Sandusky or something in, in uh, two or three years. We're just here on, con- you know. Right. Well, then why why lock into a fixed rate mortgage when you can save a percent or a percent and a half on a? That's right. If you know you're going to be out, you know, and and again too, you get a lot. Like Gary, you've dealt with this too, like corporate relocations, mm-hmm. for example. Right. Where Procter and Gamble was pack and go. Yeah, Procter and Gamble <laughs> was calling you in for a two year contract, and you know you're going to be in that house for two years. Yes, we're going to give you more options than the person that says this is my dream home Mm -hmm. i'm gonna live there for the rest of my life right so um you know it's just uh there's fha and va loans which are great loans yeah well you know the the thing is when we do a pre-approval and we're talking to a client you know the first question you ask are you a veteran if you're a veteran a va loan is a hundred percent loan no money out of your pocket if you chose to go that way. Mm-hmm. But you're always asking people, and that's part of the application process. How much money do you want to put down, if any? Um, is this your, your first time home buyer? FHA, VA, USDA, which is rural housing loans, 100%. Right. There's, there's alternatives for people that are first time home buyers. And again, the conventional out there now, and we pretty much we all do those. You got really, really, really good credit scores, 750 to 800. You can get a conventional loan for as little as what, 5% down? 3%, 3% down. 3% down. Yeah, they have uh, Fannie and Freddie both have a 3% program. You have to take a class if you're a first-time home buyer. But otherwise, I mean, it's a tremendous program. FHA is 3.5% down, but we have programs that can help you with that. You know, we've done a couple of the Kentucky Housing Corporation yeah. loans yeah. together. Where Kentucky Housing is not, you know, sometimes you have to do a little more steps, but they actually give you your money for down payment. Right. And Communities First in Ohio does the same thing. They're write, great. This, write this number down, 859-468-1929. That's Mr. Bob Papes. That's his direct line. If you are even thinking about buying a house, you want to call him first. Get pre-approved. Talk about your options. And if your credit scores are off the charts, you can get into a conventional mortgage with um, as little as 3% down. That's great. So stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. Next, we're going to have a visit with Bill Kerrigan of the Dragonfly Foundation. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on WDJO 1480 AM, now on FM 995 and 1079. Who loves you? Polaris Home Funding Corp. is your premier mortgage lender in greater Cincinnati. They offer a complete line of financing options, including FHA, USDA, VA, conventional and reverse mortgage loans, plus 203K and conventional renovation loans. Polaris Home Funding Corp. makes the loan process simple, straightforward, and fast for borrowers seeking a mortgage in the greater Cincinnati area. They can even work with low credit scores. Call Bob Pape today at 859 468 1929 to discuss your financing options at Polaris Home Funding Corp. Agent NMLS number 61416. Company NMLS 38072. An incredible note for note performance. Credence Clearwater Revival's Chronicle, performed by the musicians of Classic Albums Live, February 4th at Dayton, Ohio's Victoria Theater. Not a cover band, not an impersonation. These world-class musicians faithfully recreate CCR's Chronicle, note for note, cut for cut. Part of the Universal One Credit Union Music Series, February 4th at Dayton, Ohio's Victoria Theater. Get your tickets now at DaytonLive.org. When you need the expertise of a top-notch plumbing company, it's not a call. Oh, they may be at the bottom of the alphabetical listing, but the service and pricing of Zins Plumbing puts them at the head of the class.
you can feel confident the job will be done right. With Zins Plumbing, you'll always know what the cost will be before they start. They bill on a flat rate basis instead of an inefficient hourly billing system. Zins state-of-the-art trucks carry thousands of parts to complete your job with no needless delays. Well-trained professional plumbing technicians and courteous customer service are the hallmark of Zins Plumbing. It's a local family business proudly serving Greater Cincinnati since 1976. They can probably schedule your appointment today. Give Zins Plumbing a call at 681-2501. 681-2501. Zins Plumbing. Hear what customers are saying. What a wonderful hidden away spot. Nestled down a hallway, this little nook is almost like a speakeasy. Blink and you could miss the front door. You are greeted by low ceilings covered in copper cups and toy trains. There is a roaring fireplace in the middle that divides the it's about the size of your mom's basement and it's perfect the blind lemon open seven nights a week live music seven nights a week the blind lemon 936 hatch mount adams do you want to sell your home but just don't know where to start are you thinking about downsizing but the process is just too much gary rossignol real estate pro at remax preferred group and host of the rock and roll real estate hour has the answers let gary put his vast real estate knowledge to work for you interest rates are at record lows the market is red hot now is a great time to make your move call gary 513-777-2402 513-777-2402 licensed in ohio and kentucky 513-777-2402 Oh, we are rocking and rolling this morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary Rosignol, Cincinnati's rock and roll realtor, and this, your senior realist with Remax Preferred Group. The Dragonfly Foundation supports pediatric cancer families and patients by building a network that connects Dragonfly families to each other and the community. Providing programs that enhance quality of life, enhancing programs and partner with Children's Hospital at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, which is the greatest children's hospital in the whole country. This gentleman is on the board of directors of the Dragonfly Foundation. He is their number one cheerleader and their number one fan for years. This is my friend, Mr. Bill Kerrigan. Good morning, Bill. Hey, good morning, Gary. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. So how many years... Has the Dragonfly Foundation been in existence now? Uh, we're on our 11th year, coming up on 12. That's right. So uh, we've, uh, you know, served a lot of families over 12 years. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, it's been a great run, and uh, the work continues to be as important as it's ever been. And that the Dragonfly Foundation came into existence about the time I did my first radio show, because Rhea Davidson was on my first show. I yeah. think you were there. Uh, I wasn't on your no, first, on. but I was within a couple of weeks of your first radio show. Right, yeah, right. yeah. So that's that's really cool. So what sets the Dragonfly Foundation apart from all the other nonprofits out there, Bill? Well, I would say the biggest thing, Gary, is because Cincinnati Children's Hospital has such an amazing reputation worldwide. So many families uh, are directed to Cincinnati Children's when they get a pediatric cancer diagnosis. That means people can be coming from hundreds of miles away, thousands of miles away. Mm. Uh, they kind of just uproot the family from what is uh, their normal, and they get their child, they get their patient to Cincinnati Children's. And, um, you know, that's, uh, that's tough duty uh, mm -hmm. because you're dealing with a cancer diagnosis, but you're also uprooted in a new city. And uh, we're here to serve the families, uh, to help them uh, along their journey, uh, to try to give them uh, a sense of normalcy when they're going through the most abnormal thing they're ever going to go through. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're, this, we're there to support the families. Mm -hmm. That is... Uh... That is so true. I've seen them in action, and it's it's remarkable. It just when you talk to some of the Dragonfly families, they're so grateful that um, the volunteers were there, that they got that blue bag full of everything that they left home when they packed up last minute and, and headed across the country to come to Cincinnati Children's Hospital. And the things that uh, the Dragonfly Foundation needs more than anything right now, and correct me if I'm wrong, Bill, but... Uh, gift cards of any type, any amount from anywhere would be great, greatly appreciated, right? 
Yeah, Gary, that's uh, I, I really appreciate you bringing that up because uh, for obvious reasons, we don't just hand out cash uh, mm. uh, because there's a lot of issues go with handing out cash. So, so we really rely on the gift card program uh, from uh, volunteers, from donors. And, uh, you know, we, we all just kind of went through the Christmas season and maybe you got a gift card from a, a store or something that you don't uh, need. Uh, that would be an easy way to, to donate to one of our Dragonfly families. Because to your point, Gary, when we greet them, we try to give them all of the practical supplies that they need. But the families need more than that. They need gas cards to get uh, uh, gas in their cars to get to and from appointments. Uh, they need uh, grocery gift cards. They need uh, gift cards to restaurants. And, uh, you know, we're supplying those 365 days a year. So that's just a really easy way. And, Gary, I know that you're very generous with your time. If one of your listeners has a gift card, uh, I'm more than happy to meet them to pick up that gift card. I know you've offered to do the same thing in the past. Uh, but those gift cards are extremely helpful. Mm-hmm. And, you know, right after Christmas, I'm sure folks got some cards to a restaurant or a place that they don't frequent. And, you know, even if you did, let's say you had a $50 card and you went and spent 20 or $30 on it, you still have 20 or $30 on the card. Regift it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, $5 gift card. You guys stretch $5 a long way, don't you? <laughs> yeah, a $5 will cover a nice cup of coffee uh, for a parent to, you know, escape from the hospital setting for you know, a half hour, 45, a cup of Starbucks coffee. Uh, so, yeah, $5 gift card, $10, 20 it goes a long, long way. I know you're real fond of uh, sharing the, the good news about the Kroger Community Rewards. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I really have a passion for the Kroger program because, because you know, I, I'm in there – I grew up with an Italian mother, so we we don't <laughs> we don't buy we we don't buy you know boatloads of groceries. We like to go to the grocery every day and get fresh groceries and, mm -hmm. and uh, for for our meal preparation. So I'm in there four or five times a week, Gary. And uh, every time that I swipe my uh, Kroger uh, Rewards Plus card or just key in my phone number uh, at the at the checkout, I'm making a small donation back to the Dragonfly Foundation. It shows up right on my receipt. And uh, getting into that program is super easy. Just right. Google Kroger Community Rewards and uh, follow the prompts, and you can set it up. Uh, you don't need to set up a new account. Set if it up in less than three minutes. If you're listening right now, you can help. Text the word WINGS15 to 71777. A very um, secure website is going to open up and allow you to donate as little as $5. Do it right now. Don't wait until later today. And we're just about out of time for the day. Thanks for a great show. Thanks for calling in, Bill. Thank you, Bob, for coming down and sharing this hour with me. Uh, please remember, I am a realtor, a certified residential specialist, and a senior real estate specialist. And I'm here to help you. Just call me, 777-2402. You can find me online at rockincency, that's R-O-C-K-I-N-C-I-N-C-Y dot com. Don't forget to hug your kids, call your parents, kiss your spouse every day, wash your hands constantly, and let's stay safe out there. Next week, my guest is Phil Crawford, the voice of appraisal. That's going to be a good show. I know you'll be tuning in. Stepping Absolutely. into the studio live next is Wesley Adams and Max Gunderman on the Car Tech Show. So you don't want to leave us yet. Stay for that. Now, this song is a prediction of today's game. <laughs> this is Blues and Ivory performing Chicago's hit Bengals 25 or 6 to 4. <laughs>
Thanks for another great show, and if you have any real estate questions, just call me at 513-777-2402 or go to rockandrollrealestateagent.com. Thanks to all this show possible as well as Chris and Miles Beersford, brokers of Remax Preferred Group. A special thanks to WDJO station manager Gary Stevens and my producer Dan Gettlefinger. I would also like to shout out to all my clients, friends, family, fans of Blue Sun Ivory, the Dragonfly Foundation, and especially my wife, Mary Jo. Until next week, keep knocking on my rocking houses. So long for now. The preceding program was a paid program.